Good morning, everyone. Some mornings, my heart gets filled with all of the information that God downloads. Today is one of those mornings um, that I even want to get this information out to you. Um, I was talking to my son, Brian Cole, last night, and we were having a conversation. And I was explaining to him, because as I tell you information, believe it or not, my own family doesn't even know. Um, through me getting out of my way, and getting out and caring and being concerned about you, I do have the Burrell family reaching out to me, my cousins. Um, and actually, I got to tell my son for the first time last night, you know, he and my other son danced really well. I was like, look, I mean, MC Hammer is your cousin. My sons never knew this. And I want you to understand it's much like many of you, um, all families are now cut off, right? We all get into our own situation and it's kind of hard not to, considering how we're pushed by the economy. The economy's always pushing us, and whether we realize it or not, we work, eat, sleep, and die. That's what we do. We work, eat, sleep, and die. And many of us, if we don't work, eat, sleep, and die, we're broke, um, we're discouraged, we don't generally have a savings, um, and nowadays, it's been so disruptive that most people can't even afford to buy a house. It's crazy. And so what happens is this. This cycle begins to create its own type of slavery and bondage. So my son begins to say, I, I told him about Tom Burrell and I sent him the biography and um, the PBS and a couple of news reports on him and told him, hey, listen, another one of our cousins was a pioneer. This man actually started what we now know as advertising in black. There was none before then. He was born in 1939. And I think about this stuff as I tell you different things because you don't know how it translates into family, but it translates into I lost so many relatives that my own children didn't even know who my grandmother was. My grandmother was gone by the time I was 16 years old. My oldest cousin, Mark, uh, is turning 80 on the 25th. His daughter, Marla, just turned on the 11th, a year older than me. She's 53. I'll be 52 come December 20th. And so I'm giving you kind of like documenting. I'm documenting, and I've said it before, and some of you hear me, some of you don't. Whether Brian Lamont Roberts lives another day, another year, or another 30, you can find on the internet what I was thinking in the moment that I was thinking it. And I don't think many people think about this stuff, right? Because you've got a lot of dreams that have died within you. There's a lot of things that you told yourself you're gonna put back until tomorrow. But what if tomorrow doesn't come? What if today is all you have? What if tomorrow doesn't come? What if today is all you have? Um, had a nice talk with Mr. Norvell Brown a few, quite a few times actually before he passed away. And I will tell you, Norvell did a lot in life. He got to live a lot of things and we had a lot of conversations about it. But these are the kind of conversations that I'm really discussing when I say things like, I don't mind leading you, but I can't be the end all for you. You gotta do a lot of things for yourself because I've already foreseen that when I die, this is all about legacy. So. The only way that legacy can carry on is if you're engaged, if you're thinking, if you're growing, if you're moving, if you're doing, if you're becoming. That's the only way this type of engagement process works. It's not about getting lucky. It's not about how many dollars you make from me. It's none of that stuff. It's just, let's get going. So here we go. Here I go. Here's my family. My son's having this conversation with me and I began telling him about the building that Tom Burrell owned in Chicago called Burrell Media. And my son picks up on it right away. He says, dad, you talked about this back years ago when you were driving in and out of Chicago going to Second City. He called it Groundlings, but yeah, Second City. And he goes, you have like premonitions, dad. Now, the question, it's not about marveling over what's being said because it's not a premonition. God shows you something. The question becomes, what do you do with it? I'm not a person that talked about those kinds of things with anyone outside of my family. And I felt comfortable enough 
well, not really, God told me to share them with you. What you do with those things that I've been telling you all this time is your personal responsibility. It's not my responsibility as to whether you listen to it, hear it, and adhere to it. All I'm doing is showing you the way, telling you what God told me to tell you, and then I'm getting out of the way. Now, I want you to understand what I'm saying this morning because we sat at the brink of, I don't want to sound hypish, but literal financial destruction. There's going to be a lot of you that are going to have to accept if you, you know, either accept making money or finding a way or accept the law of reciprocity, your brother and your sister's hand. You had three, and this is how I see it. You had three and a half years, right? Maybe you heard me, maybe you didn't. Maybe you got it, maybe you didn't. Maybe you were thinking of another plan. Maybe you saw it differently, which is all fine. But as I've said before, with these premonitions, what God shows me, I don't get a choice. I either do it or I come up short. And I have to sit back and say, dag on it, he did tell me. I knew about it. I just, I didn't believe it. I, I heard it. And I just, oh man, how many times did I hear that in prayer? How many times did I see that? And what I'm really telling you is I stopped fighting it. I stopped resisting it. I know we're all grown. We all have our own way of doing things. We all see things differently. We all want to be the one. I could care less. I just want to be out of harm's way. That's how I live my life. That's why I've always said God is the man at the park. The Holy Ghost is the Frisbee. Brian Lamont Roberts is nothing more than the dog. That doesn't mean I don't do my work. I get busy. But as soon as the master calls, I'm looking, I'm seeing, I'm seizing, and I'm doing. God bless. Love you to life.